Epic is a blue chip U.S. industrial holding company founded by Thomas Edison. Yeah, so that means it was founded in the 1880s, because remember Thomas Edison was the guy who invented the power station and the light bulb and so on. Core assets, power generation, aircraft, engines, healthcare, which means like CAT scanners, you know, heavy duty healthcare equipment and then a whole bunch of financial activities. Market cap here, 251 billion US dollars. PE ratio of 523, dividend yield of 3.7. Unpack the PE. Yeah, so look, a company like GE declares results every single quarter. In their most recent quarter, they had a bunch of write-offs, which means that they took effectively quite a lot out of their ordinary profits. So that PE ratio looks very high, but the real PE ratio is around 17, 18 or so. And if you look at their kind of sustained earnings through the cycles. The Power question, generation, aircraft, yeah. this investment theme, <laughs> how does it sit with you? Look, we've owned GE for about 15 years in client offshore portfolios. And I must and how's say, it done for you? Well, it was interesting because it did very well at first up till about 2007, 2008, then it almost died. It went from $40 to seven, okay? Then it has bounced from there, and it's sort of bounced round about to the 25 mark. There you can see. So you're still holding this in client portfolios? Yeah, and you know, the CEO, Jeff Immelt, uh, has done a good job. He's done a bit of tidying up. They've significantly reduced their financial services exposure. Remember, the way it works is that the industrial lending is in support of their sales of big ticket industrial items. So if you buy an aeroplane, chances are GE is financing the purchase of the aircraft engines which they made. If you buy a power station or a wind turbine, then you will be getting that financing package in the back from GE as part of the deal. Anything the interesting to thing, add before we go hot or not? Well, the healthcare stakes I like. So that's healthcare equipment. And very active on the African So if you continent. go in for an MRI or you go into, you know, hospital for some expensive machine that gives you a once over and so on and so forth, chances are that could be made by GE. So that's a sector I like. But to be honest, we've been waiting for the unbundling of this general electric general interest for 15 years. Like I said, when we bought them in you know, the year 2000, the view was, well, maybe they're going to unbundle and it'll be worth more than the sum of the parts. So I really do think that it needs fresh management at the helm and a fresh path, because I think they would be worth much more if they were to split this business out hot and break it into. You know, I'm going to give it a hot because I think that it is finally, now finally, at the point where this transition might be in play.